interferential current, neuromuscular electrical stimulation, and transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. The real difference. Injuries, muscle atrophy and other pain-inducing conditions often make one depend on opioids, muscle relaxants, over-the-counter drugs, and many others. These medications often have side effects and other long-term issues. Therefore, medical devices that incorporate technologies such as neuromuscular electrical stimulation, interferential current, or transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. The Zymix Next Wave is a good example, and a lifesaver. What is interferential current or interferential therapy? It is the use of electric current to stimulate nerves for the purpose of pain relief and other benefits. It is a type of therapy that takes advantage of low frequency instead of superficial nerve stimulation, and it is known for its deeper penetration. Hence, consequently, its therapeutic effects. The use of low frequency to stimulate nerves is often associated with discomfort and pain due to the difference in the skin and the electrical stimulation. What this means is that low frequency equals greater impedance, higher frequency equals lower impedance. However, unlike other types of treatment modalities that make use of this principle, interferential current machines deliver higher frequencies that interfere to give a beat frequency. These higher frequencies can penetrate the skin and cause less discomfort or pain. The principle behind these IFC machines is that the electrodes delivering these high frequencies are crossed to give a resultant medium or low frequency. For example, when two electrodes of 4100 Hz are crossed with other electrodes of 4000 Hz, the resultant or beat frequency that will finally stimulate the nerve is 100 Hz. IFC works like a TENS unit, it's just that it yields better results and a more intense therapeutic effect. The best it can explain by comparing it with TENS. What is transcutaneous electric nerve stimulation? Transcutaneous electric nerve stimulation or TENS is the process of administering voltages or electrical stimulation to superficial nerves for the purpose of pain relief, etc. It can be used both in the hospital and at home. They are used for relieving pain from injuries, period pain, lower back pain, arthritis, fibromyalgia. There is not much difference between IFC and TENS units, except the fact that IFC currents interfere to give a resultant frequency or electric current. The overall results in use are the same except that IFC effects are more intense. Compared with IFC and TENS, the NMES is a bit more different. What is neuromuscular electrical stimulation? NMES denotes neuromuscular electrical stimulation and can also be called electrical muscle stimulation. It is the use of electrical current to stimulate muscle contractions. It mimics the stimulating action of the central nervous system. EMS is particularly useful for people with partial or full paralysis, used in muscle building or strength training for trainers and for testing muscular function, etc. Notice the similarities between IFC, TENS, and NMES. All of them utilize electrical stimuli or impulses to deliver their impact within the body. How do they work? IFC, TENS, and NMES technologies and home-based innovations usually come in a portable form. They deliver their impulses through electrodes. These electrical impulses are generated by the battery. The electrodes are adhesive pads with wire attached at the ends. What are the side effects of IFC, TENS, and MES? They are generally safe for most people, but here are some possible side effects. You may experience a tingling feeling or pinpricks in the area that it is being utilized. Some people can be allergic to the adhesive pads. 
This often presents as itchiness or redness in the area that the electrodes were attached. However, you can choose electrodes with hypoallergenic adhesive pads. As a pregnant woman, you may experience possible complications. Therefore, pregnant women are advised not to use them without the advice of their doctor. People with pacemakers and heart problems are to contact their doctors before using, since it may lead to complications.